Hey, 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 Mark back again for another tutorial. This time we're going to be doing a tutorial on cloning. Yes, cloning. Cloning can be used for a bunch of different things. Here today I'm going to show you how I cloned this poor looking sap three times and make it look like there was three of him. All identical. What a scary thought. It's very easy, but uh, it can be used to create some really cool effects. Uh, in your live action or your uh, still photography. So what you should do, uh, I will mention that uh, I did shoot it in uh, all one take because uh, my thought behind that is if you have auto exposure on your camera, if you forget to set you know the white balance differently or just for safety's sake and for the uh, the general continuity of the look, of the video um i shoot it all in one take so you do the first one uh while standing in the middle then uh you time it you want to make sure you you know exactly around what time the length of time that you are uh, taping that one part of the scene move over to the other side and uh you know tape that side for the same amount of time then move over to the other side and, and just uh you know do your thing over there and then come over and turn the tape off that way when you come into the program you can uh, chop it up so drag your footage down create a new comp and here you see this is uh, all one clip all one take it was taken there's uh, walking out doing the one part then went over to that part I did do a part uh, in, the, in the back of them but uh, it was a pain in the butt I didn't like wasting that much time so then I went over and did the uh, other part right there so that's the basics of uh, the filming part of it and uh, so now you just got to find the points where it stops right around 50 seconds, 53 seconds, right around there. And then you want to edit, split the layer. Then <clears throat> you got to find the beginning of this. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You want to find the beginning. So then you want to alt begin bracket once you find the beginning to shorten that clip up there. Let's see. Uh, all right. Then you want to find the other spot part of it, and you want to split the layer again. Then you want to drag the uh, needle over and just hit begin bracket. That'll bring it right to the beginning. Click on there and begin bracket. Uh, I must hit end bracket, begin bracket. There we go. Turn the top layer off because I want to make sure the other layer, the layer in the middle, is where it needs to be. All right, so we got to get rid of this guy in the middle here. Mm -hmm. All right. So once we get rid of, I shouldn't say get rid of. Once I well, I want to get rid of the middle guy. I don't want to use the middle guy. All right, there we go. Beginning of that part of the video. Oh, begin bracket. Bring needle over. Begin bracket. Boom. All right. Now, it's real easy. We just have to create masks. Turn all layers on. So we'll click on the top layer. Okay. And then we're going to uh, draw a mask. Once we get this situated here. All right, you want to start at the actual beginning. So alt begin bracket, right there. Alt begin bracket, bring it over. Begin bracket. There we go. Now we want to create a mask. Yay! Click on the layer you want to create a mask on. Click on the pen tool or hit the number G on your keypad. The letter G, not the number. Wow, I'm betting a hundred today. A masking around the first boot. Bang! There you go. He showed up. Now we gotta go on the next layer down. Now you always wanna obviously uh, do the mask on the layer above the other mask because the layer on top is always the the dominant layer. Just remember that the layer on top is always the dominant layer. So click on that layer and draw a mask again boom 
Bom. 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 That's beautiful. All right. Very nice. Subtract the layer. Boom. There we go. We're in business. Now, sometimes there's lines where the masks are. So especially you got to watch out for uh, times like this. So you want to go in the mask properties and uh, see right here. If you look real close, you can see the line of the mask. It's uh, ever so slight. It will cause that and maybe a little bit of uh, different lighting or something, uh, you know, clouds. So just feather your mask out. And when you feather your mask out, you'll notice the line uh, will disappear. So it basically, you know, smudges it into the rest of the the, the uh, layer. It'll try to combine the pixels with the layer below it, uh, which does a great job blending it in. So you want to do that with uh, the next layer up, all your masks, you want to feather them out. Just be careful you don't feather it too much, or if you do feather it, make sure if the arm goes close or if a piece of the... Uh, thing you're cloning is too close to the mask layer that the uh, feather is not too big if it is it'll start to show on the uh, thing you're trying to clone so and that's it that's all there is to it uh, pretty easy cloning technique I hope this uh, helped out uh, a little bit and like I said you can apply this technique to a lot of different things but what I'm going to be doing is uh, making two to three minute short videos uh, showing the techniques that I am teaching you guys just to give you a, a little idea of what can be achieved. But thanks again for watching, and uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. All right, talk to you soon.